So, I was wondering what I was going to do for this review, because I wasn't sure what I wanted to look at. Did I want to look at an old, older figure? Did I want to look at one of the newer ones? And I settled on a very recent uh, thing. I got this on Easter along with another Titans Return figure, which I will not name. And that would be Titans Return Legends Class Rewind. Rewind is what they're calling, I think it's called a data slug, but um, uh, it, it it's a cell phone. It's pretty much a cell phone. Um, getting in the detail here, it's, a, it's quite a nice little screensaver, but it looks like a cassette reel. That may seem odd, but the original G1 Rewind turned into a cassette tape. And yes, this, fit, this fits into leader class blasters or sound waves chest, which is reminiscent of their original gimmick from their G1 toys, which you fit the cassettes in their chest. Um, it's got battery, pretty decent Wi-Fi and data. And then here you got um, uh, messages, like email, text, photo, and like notepad. Autobot symbol there, a bunch of wire and circuitry, and another smaller Autobot symbol. Right, I cannot seem to focus on it. Come on. Damn it. Um, uh, it, it, it's there. It's just really tiny. And then he's got one right up there. A little painted one. Got this little red thing. It's got a home button, two silver sides. Um, uh, yeah, in the back here it's just, it's, it's just robot. Um, he does have this. This will fit a headphone jack. It's just I don't have any headphones on me that are wired. I'm over the wireless. So, how big is this um, uh, data slug? Well, here he is next to another Titans Return figure. Gnaw. And, uh... Yeah, he's definitely, um, uh... Um, uh, Gnaw is almost as tall as him when he's standing on the things to the fin. And here he is next to Generations Megatron. He's bigger than the dude. But this guy is a triple changer. Wait, I forgot to mention. He's where's his weapon go? Uh, here comes a little um, uh, little gun. Uh, you can plug it in a few places on the phone mode. You can plug it in uh, uh, right here if you want to shoot people while texting. You can uh, plug it in right here for the same purpose, or you know they have like a so right there, for like a same purpose, or you know maybe data signal, but they do have a little groove right here. And just put that into. No store nicely. Just remember to take that out before you transform him. I have forgotten on a few occasions and almost snapped it in half. Oh, forgot to mention. You got a power button. So to transform him into his uh, second mode. So what I'm gonna do is uh, snap to the sides and fold them up like that. Unpeg them, swing them up, rotate them around, and there's a little groove right here that this section just slide right into. And it'll do that on the other side. Then you take the gun. There are two little notches right there. I'm fitting two little holes in there. And oh look, it's a little tank. It's a very tiny, tiny tank. Very weird looking tiny tank, but a tiny tank nonetheless. Uh, not much new details revealed here. It's pretty much just the same in certain spots. But we do have uh, some very, very nice treads. It's even got molding on the other side to be treads. Little cogs. It kind of just um, uh, cuts off here, but let's just pretend it's covered up. And we got the little red details that are now visible. Uh, front is kind of just open. Uh, up here, mold-wise, uh, we got some stuff right there. I'm guessing square hatches, and of course the gun has become the tank barrel, and it can move up and down. And on the underside, he has two wheels right here and a wheel right there, and he is still out of focus. And it rolls pretty decently, all things considered. Although. As a tank, uh, I don't think he'd do well with a massive front bumper and, and a splitter. 
which is in a racing thing. It's a kind of splits the air so your car gets better aerodynamics. Uh, here he is next to Naw. Naw is still bigger. And here he is next to Megatron. Surprisingly, he's uh, still smaller than Megatron. But you may notice he's got two sets of Titan Master pegs on top of his turret. Now, compared to like Blur, where you know, or Skull Smasher, where you got either on his paw or you know on the side of a really fast car, uh, I don't think standing on a tank would be too detrimental to your safety. Granted, you'd be better if you had a gun, but you know, you take what you can get. Let's get Crash Bash off of there. I can review him one day. And let's get him into robot mode. The transformation from robot mode to tank mode is not that different from robot, I mean, from a phone to robot. Could, I mean, all you really do is just fold these up in, in the phone mode and just. So, move the gun, throw it off the side. Then we're going to unpeg the turret sections. And we're just going to lift them up for now. Going to take the section with the treads. We're gonna unpack them at the front, and then rotate them around, and then these, these sections of the tread and flip them up. We are then going to rotate around these sections, swivel them forward so he has hands. Fold them down. Open up his chest. Fold out his head. Close it back up. Adjust the camera so we can see him. And there is Rewind in his robot mode. A very cool looking robot mode of that. Getting him on the head sculpt. If I can get it into focus, because my autofocus never seems to work. It's a pretty decent head. Reminds me of a Gundam. It's got the blue visor and a red mouth plate. It's got the little uh, crown horn and the little center thing. It's got a little camera on, on the side of his head. So... Yeah, and um, size-wise, here he is next to another tank, Megatron. Megatron is still bigger, but he has a bigger head. And, uh, dog. Here he is next to Gnaw. He is bigger than Gnaw. So, um, uh, the only new detail is really the head, the hands more dog, and the chest. Uh, the chest, um, it's got this nice yellow detailing and then this Autobot symbol right there. And uh, the arms are just arms. Now while this arm seems nice and full, seems like an actual arm, this one looks like the armor got blown off. And some of the mold support, the mold struts in there that help support the whole thing, one of them looks like a piston. Hold on. And, uh, everything's just hollow. So, his articulation is pretty decent. Head is on a swivel, but you can use the uh, transformation hands to get, actually get some pretty decent poses out of it. Uh, ball jointed shoulders, which uh, don't move that much outward. They get forward and back quite fine, but outward is uh, that's about as far as I go. Outward. This is them straight. This is them outward. Thankfully, you can use the transformation hands to get past any other outward movement. Granted, if you want to get it forward and out, well, you're screwed. Bicep swivel. Nah, almost 90 degree elbow, but it's kind of got that floating elbow thing. And that, and uh, since the actual arm is really nothing but a panel, it does leave it a bit odd looking. No waist. No wrists. Ball joint in the hips. Ball joint in the knees that get full range movement. Same with the hips, and you can uh, break his foot. Of course, he can hold his gun. He can hold on both hands. I prefer it in this hand because this hand would probably break if he fired his gun. Or you could arm mount it right there, because this is the same spot. For his weapon was stored. So, 
I really like this guy. He's really fun to fiddle around with and pose, play with. He's just all really fun. I mean, he's got a weird but cool little cell phone mode, which goes for the roleplay thing. If you buy Blaster, you get more compatibility. Um, he's got a tank mode, so he can do stuff in his own. And his robot mode is just really fun to mess around with. It's really well proportioned. It looks really good. Except for that. Oh, look. Oh, I also forgot to mention, he doesn't have any heals or really any support. He's just got these to two stuff to balance on on the inside of the feet, so he does get a bit top-heavy from time to time. But at least he has no backpack. He is completely clean. The only kill we really got is the stuff that formed the top of the tank turret. But yeah, I would definitely recommend him. He's about 10 bucks, so he's pretty cheap. So if you got the dough, which isn't surprising, I mean, 10 bucks plus tax, so what, that's like 11, 12 bucks? He is definitely worth it. And um, even if I had kids of my own, which I don't, unfortunately, I don't, I don't want kids. <laughs> I would. This would be a really fun toy. I mean, as a kid, I mean, you got a cell phone mode, so you can pretend to talk with your friends and all that stuff, pretend to text and be like all the, all your cool kids or your older brother or sister. Then you got the tank mode, so you can drive around and shoot all the bad guys. And then he's got this really fun little robot mode, which is very poseable. And just looks very cool. So the, this is number 53, sun and out. There will be more Hot Wheels vids though. I'm expecting something in the mail. If only Amazon will cooperate. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Whenever that may be. Number 53, rolling out.